Desmos does a really great job with regressions. I'm going to go through three different ones here, one that's going to be quadratic, one that's going to be exponential, and a logarithmic one. I'm going to go ahead and start with the throwing the ball in an error data. If you want to follow along, the link to my data is down below. I'm going to copy my data by clicking, holding, and dragging through the data. And then I'm going to right click and copy, or you can do a control C. Now over into Desmos, there's two ways that you can enter your data. You can either click the plus sign and then add a table and type them in manually, but I don't have to do that because I just copied my data. Let's go ahead and close this back to an empty cell, and I'm gonna hit Control V, V as in Victor, to paste. So Control V, and it does such a great job and puts it right into the table and plots those points. Now to create this regression, I'm gonna be using the tilde symbol along with the variables that we've got at the top of the table. So I'm gonna use X sub one and Y sub one. Now this definitely looks like a quadratic, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in a quadratic equation where I don't know what the coefficients are. So I'm going to type y and then 1. It automatically subscripts. So I just did y1, nothing special. And then my tilde, which is right next to the number 1. And then I want to type in a generic um, quadratic. You can also put this in vertex form. I'm going to go ahead and do it in this form. So I'm going to do ax. Again, I need to use the variable from my table. So ax1 squared. So I'm going to use the caret key, which is above the 6. And then arrow over, so I'm on the right line. And then plus bx1 one and then plus C to give us a generic quadratic. And you can see that it's come up with the equation of this quadratic with a really, really nice fit. My R squared value is very close to one. The closer to one, the better this is. And I've also got my coefficients here. So I can go ahead and write this quadratic as negative 0.996 5 um, x squared plus 3.9 x plus 0.157 if I want to round to three decimal places. Let's do the next one. I'm going to leave this table here because I want to show you a couple of things that you need to be really careful of as you're doing some regressions. So I'm just going to close this regression box and I'm going to go ahead and leave my data here but I'm gonna put my cursor in an empty cell. So back to my regression data, let's grab this rabbit population. Again, control C to copy, or you can right click. And then over into Desmos, I'm gonna do control V as in Victor to paste. You'll notice this time it's given me my data but it's labeled them X2, Y2. This is a really common mistake. Make sure you're grabbing the subscripts of the table. Let's go ahead and get rid of that first table, and I'm gonna do a regression, and it definitely looks exponential here. Now I'm gonna grab an empty cell and put Y2, tilde, this is an exponential. So I'm gonna leave a multiplier out in front, a coefficient A, and then E to the B, x2. And now it's linked that regression equation to my data. Again, a really nice r squared value here, very close to 1. And we can write that regression as y equals 0.95 e to the 0.67x. Let's do one more. I'm going to get rid of both of these. In this last one, I'm gonna again give you a warning of something that comes up frequently when you're doing regressions. This time I'm gonna grab the height of a tree data. Again, doing the same thing that we had done before to select that data and then copy. Over into Desmos, I've already cleared everything out, so I'm ready to go into an empty cell and control V as in Victor. And you'll notice that it's giving me X1 and Y1. This one looks logarithmic. So as I put this one into an empty cell, again, X1, Y1, um, very, very similar. I'm gonna go Y1 and then tilde. This looks like a logarithm. So I'm gonna go A, natural log, B, x, but notice how it has not given me a regression equation. That's because all of the data values that you have here need to fit the domain of your regression. 
This is a natural log. Zero is not in the domain of the natural log. This time, let's go grab our data and not include the zero, zero. I'm gonna X this out back to my regression data, and I'm gonna instead grab just starting at one and then copy this data back over to Desmos. I'm gonna get rid of the original table and then control V. Let's go ahead and do our logarithmic regression now. Y1 tilde A natural log B X one. And I can add a plus C, but I think I'm actually really good there. And I do have an R value, which is really, really great. And I can write this logarithmic regression as 22.6 natural log of 0.98x. Take a look at this next video to learn more about Desmos. Thanks for watching.